What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be reading a diary of a wimpy kid. The last draw. So, this is my t teacher's book, so I have to take really good care of it. Bye, I'm going to read video of my Okay, so... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey! I'm under trying. You know I'm posting this to you too. No, no, you won't. I'll I'll edit it out. I'll edit it out. Okay. So guys, as I was talking about sorry. 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 Um as I was talking about we're reading this book called Diary of a Wimpy Kid. The last straw so see I read a little bit of it go okay New Year's Day you know you're supposed to come up with a list of re resolutions at the beginning of the year to try to make yourself a better person well, the problem is, it's not easy for me to think of ways to improve myself because I'm already pretty much one of the best people I know. So, this year, my resolution is try to try and help other people improve. The thing is, the thing, but the thing I'm finding out is that some people don't really appreciate it when you you're trying to be helpful I think you should work on your chewing chewing your potato chips more quietly yeah I don't know I don't know if, if his mom should I haven't heard her before one thing I know is one thing I know is right one thing I know is right the bat is that people in my family are doing a, a lousy job sticking to the they are doing a lousy job sticking to the New Year's resolution. Mom said she was going to start going to a gym today and spend her whole afternoon watching TV. But she spent the whole life the whole afternoon watching TV. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I messed up. And dad said that he, and dad said he was going on a strict diet. But after dinner, I caught him outside in the in the garage, stuffing his face with brownies. Slork, slork. I'm trying to make a chewing sound. Like I don't know if I'm, I don't know how to make one if if, if I if I don't know. Even my little brother, Manny, couldn't stick with his resolution. This morning, he told that he's a big boy and he's giving his pacifier for good. Then, he threw his favorite binky in the trash. Clap, 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 clap. Wait, I'll do that. Wait. Sorry, my, my, sorry, my, someone's here. Well, that, that new use resolution didn't even last a full year. Why, 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 Oh, good, good, good. Sorry, sorry, guys, if I do that, my friend, my, someone's here. Okay. Well, that new use resolution didn't even last a full minute. The only person in my family who didn't come with the resolution is my older brother, Roderick. And this, that's pretty because his list would be about a mile and a half long. So I decided to come up with a program to help Roderick be a better person. I called my plan three strikes and you're out. The basic idea was that every time I saw Roderick messing up, I'd put, I'd mark a little X on his chart. Well, Rod Roderick got all three strikes before. I even had a chance to decide what, what you're out. 
meant punch, punch, punch. No, 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 Anyway, I'm trying to wonder if I just if I should just bag my resolution too. It's a lot, a lot of work, and so far I haven't really made any progress. Besides, after I remind, reminded mom for like the billionth time, if you guys if you guys think a billionth is a number, it is not. Time. Time to stop chewing your potato chips so loud. She made a really good point. She said, everyone can't be perfect as you, Georgie. And, and f from what I've seen so far, I think she's right. Dad is giving his diet another try. Sorry if, I, if, sorry if the camera is moving a lot of times. Dad is giving his... That is giving this the, this diet thing another try. And that's bad news for me. He's gone about three days without eating any chocolate. Like, not any, like, not like even a chocolate chip, he means. Like, any chocolate. And he's been super cranky. The other day, after Dad woke me up and told me to get ready for school, I accidentally fell back asleep. asleep. Believe me, that's the last time I'll make that mistake. Wake up! Yank. Part of the problem is that Dad always wakes me up before... makes me up... wakes me up before Mom's out of the shower. So I know that I still have like 10 more minutes before I, I need to get out of bed for real. Oh my god. Can you stop making a video? I'll, I'll make you come in the video and not edit it out. You wouldn't dare. Okay. Yesterday I came up with a pretty good way to get some extra sleep time without making dad mad after you woke me up i took all of my blankets and can you stop moving the table i took all of my blankets down the hall with me and waited outside the bathroom for my turn in the shower then i and then then i wait down right on top of the heater vent and when was and when the furnace was blowing the experience was even better than being in bed so this might and by the way guys this this will be in like some like some parts i'll try to make the, every video at least 10 minutes long the two more minutes of this this morning while i was waiting for mom to be done with the shower I remember, I remember someone gave her bathrobe for Christmas, Christmas, so I went into her closet and got it. Let me just say, that was one of the smartest moves I ever made. When, when that thing was like being wrapped in a big fluffy towel, just came out of the dryer. In fact, I liked it so much I even wore it after my shower. I think Dad might have been jealous. He didn't come up with the robe idea first. Because when I came up to the kitchen table, he seemed extra grumpy. Morning. And so if you guys don't know who these two be, this is Greg. And this is um, Greg's dad. One more morning, guys. I'll tell you, I tell you, I'll tell you, women have the right idea with this bathrobe thing. Now, I'm wondering what else I'm missing out on. I just, I just wish I, ha I had asked for my own bathrobe for Christmas. Because I'm sure my mom is going to give me hers back. 
make me give her this back. No, no, no. I'm going to give you a video. I'm going to give you a video. Okay, okay. I struck out on gifts again this year. I knew I was in a rough day when I came downstairs on Christmas morning. The only presents in my stocking were a stick of deodorant and a travel dictionary. I guess once you're in middle school, grown-ups decide you're too old for toys or anything that's actually fun. Okay, guys. So, guys, we're going to stop right here on page 8. I mean, page ni 9, actually. So, we're going to stop right here on the Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Last straws. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!